Hey y'all, it's your favorite Nerdy Girl here, Nerdy Girl Reviews, and I'm back with a really, really quick Dollar Tree haul, just in time for the holidays of Halloween, and yes, if you've guessed it, Christmas. Stay tuned. Okay, now that, um, you know, we are officially in spooky month of October, I thought I'd get some last minute items um, for some impending reviews. Came across this particular bulb, um, which is a dark bulb, party bulb, I believe it's called, and I believe it works like, you know, a black light. So I wasn't gonna intentionally buy this because I was like, well, but I'll give it a shot and just to see if um, my glow in the dark nails uh, are reflective in this light. So we'll give this a try. Again, a dollar, not too bad. So we'll give it a whirl. Also, I came across this that's very handy, especially when it comes to crafting. Sanding Sponge by their Toolbench Hardware uh, Collection. Uh, you can use wet or dry, rinse and reuse. Um, I really think it comes in handy, especially when it comes to those wooden crates. When you're putting them together, sometimes they need to be sanded. You can see that the wood is kind of, you know, they're not perfect. They're slightly imperfect, so I think this will come in handy. Not bad for a dollar. Also came across their new water bottles. I mean, as you can see, I've already used, <laughs> I have used it, but um, very nice, nice um, design in terms of their new water bottles. It has like a, you know, screw top, but it has a really great handy grip. So if you're at the gym, I think this is ideal. You know, you could put it in any backpack, any gym gear, any locker. I think this was really nice in comparison to their old design that has more of like a harder edge top. And these are new too. I've seen these um with a number of other YouTubers that uh, live across the nation and they're slowly bringing out their you know their Christmas merchandise. So I thought this was really cute. I believe it's called a tree. Let me let's let's see. A tree collar. So it looks semi, like if you didn't know, it looks like a dog bowl, but I can totally see this with like the very small tree that I have, this being very decorative, and it covers up like the little legs, and uh, it looks really nice. I just love the aesthetic. I love their red, nice true, true red, and it has like this etching of Merry Christmas and the little Christmas tree in white, so I think it's ideal. Not bad for a dollar. Now this... Um, Again, I've seen these before, um, but I thought I'd snag it this year because I might want to put this in a frame. Um, you know, it's their decorative box, which again, I don't know, I may use as a vase. I'm, I'm debating between putting it in a frame or just keeping it as is and just putting um, some nice um, decorative flowers inside. But it's really pretty because it has that truck and it's farm fresh Christmas trees, kind of like the calendars. So, again, I might do that. But I loved it, and it has this really pretty ribbon, you know, nice satin red um, ribbon. And just, it's, it just pops, because look at that sheen on the truck. Really, really ideal for Christmas. Now, this is not from the Dollar Tree. This is Target's um, bullseye section. Um, and it's not a dollar. It's three dollars. But I just loved it, because they have, like, this really these really nice, decorative you know pine cones 14 count they're called bowl fillers and yeah typically you could put them in, in your bowl but you know i might hot glue them to a wreath from from the dollar tree and i i needed some I, I i'm trying to vary between small and bigger sizes so i thought this was really nice not bad for three dollars you get a good handful of them and also i guess you know they don't they're unscented um, but yeah, I have some oils that I can maybe spritz on just to kind of give them that little nice extra Christmassy peppermint kind of feel to them. So stay tuned for that. And lastly, these are um, also from their Hide and Eek Boutique uh, collection at Target. Just $5 as you can see. These are adult horns. I thought they were ideal. You know, uh, they're not too big, not too messy, not too clunky. And uh, again, I'm going to be playing with a number of looks, so if I do want to do the famous Maleficent, I believe that's how you pronounce it, then I already have the horns, because I was going to try to do some, 
DIY, but honestly, I just don't have the energy this year, so why not just already buy a pre-made? Not bad for $5. So, again, you can't go wrong at Target and at Dollar Tree. Now, this is a quick update from Five and Below. As you've already seen, they have these uh, wigs. I believe I've already shown them. Um, this is the Cruella, and this is just a standard, really pretty pink uh, wig. Um, again, you can see, still just $5. Now, this is how they came in, in the package. This had a little wave. This one had, like, some beachy waves. But for the most part, they were really flat, you know, in the middle, right? Parted in the middle. So I do want to give you guys an update on how a little teasing and a little patience can really turn around a wig. So here is one, this is the Cruella wig, and you can see that I've done a lot of teasing. I I honestly wasn't kind of going for this, but also I, I also noticed that because it is such plastic, you can't manipulate it too much because it does kind of come apart. But I love the teasing, and it goes, it coincides with uh, this new interpretation of Cruella because there are moments where she has these moments of madness. So I thought that this really great teasing Robert Smith, Ron Spector kind of <laughs> motif look, I think would go great for this Halloween. So uh, I might try this with some makeup and be and it be part of my review. Um, but yeah, you can see that you can do wonders with a little bit of teasing. And this is the semi-end product for the pink wig. Again, we went from really flat to a nice little poof up top, a little teasing, a little finessing, a little hairspray. I'm keeping her long for now. I may cut her depending on my feel of it and how it's going to lay on my head. But for now, I'm kind of feeling this pink gem. Remember gem from the 80s? <laughs> gem and the rockers kind of look. Um, but she has a nice pretty curl. Um, yeah, a number of YouTubers on here can give you um, plenty of tutorials on how you can poof it up. If you would like me to see that, uh, if you'd like to see me doing it, then please leave a comment down below. Um, I might might just do a few tutorials just to see. But again, I am novice, so just just take that into consideration. I'm not an expert, but in comparison to how the wig did look, let's just remind, refresh the memory. This is how we originally started. So how it began to how it's going, you know? Really nice. Um, so I will keep you guys updated. Stay tuned for more. If you like to, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscription button. Also hit the notification button to stay alert of my next upload. Stay tuned for my impending reviews. Uh, don't get, don't forget to give us a nice like uh, and even a share. <laughs> And let me know, please let me know if these are videos that you're interested in watching. I'm more than welcome to film uh, one of these tutorials uh, on camera. All right, kitties, till next time. And uh, can't wait for Halloween. <laughs> XOXO, nerdy girl.